Let's talk about fear. So many of the CEOs I work with, when I ask them, do you feel fear? Do you feel scared? Of course they admit. They say, no, 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 I don't, I don't. And often what that means is, well, it means two things. Either they're not feeling fear and otherwise that generally means they're bored or they're squashing that feeling down. They're not prepared to accept or look into the fact that they're feeling fearful. And there's a couple of great models out there that can help us understand how fear can be useful and a feeling that we need to work through and understand because there's success on the other side of it. There's a fantastic model called from comfort zone to growth zone. And we have the safe comfort zone over here where everything feels nice and safe and comfortable and happy and everything feels great. And we love living in our comfort zone, but comfort zone can be boring. And then that comfort zone expands into the fear zone. So anything beyond our comfort zone feels a bit scary, a bit of a challenge. It questions our norms, it questions our behaviour. We're not very good at it. It requires new learning, new things to do. And sometimes when we hit the fear zone, we find ourselves saying things like excuses. Oh, I don't know if I can do this. I'm not sure now's the right time. Lots of excuses come up when we hit the fear zone, once we move out of the comfort zone. Because again, these zones are often like a rubber band. They sort of bring us back and the fear zone can easily bring us back into the comfort zone again. We're often affected by other people's opinions when we're in the fear zone. We look at the competition. What are they doing? What are they up to? Fear is often inflicted from outside or outside circumstances mean that we're there. We're often looking to other people to understand what we should do. And often, really, the reality is, is we lack self-confidence in this point. Now, the, the greatest leaders out there, they lean into that fear. They understand that they're feeling this. And fear means that growth, growth comes on the other side of that. So on the other side of the fear zone is the learning zone. We have to deal with challenges and problems we learn how to do that. We acquire new skills. We extend that comfort zone out. Okay, So we have the comfort zone. We have the fear zone surrounding that. And then we have the learning zone beyond that. We have to learn these new skills. We have to understand a new mindset, a new skill set to become comfortable with the things that were once scary. And that's the point we hit the growth zone. Once we're comfortable with the things that feel scary, our comfort zone is bigger. So a good example of this, I'm working with a CEO who's got 200,000 employees, right? I asked that CEO five years ago, how do you felt about leading an organisation with 200,000 people? I'd have been scared to death, was his response. And that's, of course, an interesting response. Now it's normal. It feels normal that that's what's happening, that you are the person in that situation, is that the more we grow, the more we have to go through that fear zone to get to something bigger on the other side. So there's nothing wrong with feeling fear. It's all about taking it out, examining it, understanding why I'm feeling like this. Am I making excuses? Am I affected by other people's opinions? Do I lack that self-confidence to get to the other side of it? These are generally positive symptoms that tell you you're going in the right direction. A little bit of fear is exhilarating. It pushes you somewhere where you haven't been before. You have to go through that fear zone because on the other side of that is growth. Because you have to learn how to deal with that and your zone of comfort increases. So it's understanding and looking and examining those fears can help you understand what's going on. If you ignore them, then you can't get better in life. You have to just experience them and go through them as we go through. Because again, fear is like a rubber band. It can pull you back to where you want to, but it can also propel you forward to where you need to be.